Hello and welcome to Teacher Inspiration Station. In today's video, I am participating in the fun in the summer tag first created by Pencils and Magic Wands. And if you are not subscribed to her channel, go ahead and check her out. She is lovely, so genuine, and a lot of fun. I really do enjoy her. And I also have some other awesome teacher YouTubers who are joining in this collaboration. And I'm gonna link everyone's videos down below in the description box. So go ahead and check them out and show them some love. And if you wanna participate in the fun in the summer tag, whether you're a teacher or not, join us and let me know in the description box box no let me know in the comment section if you participated and I'll add your video to my description box so let's go ahead and get started so question number one what is your favorite thing about summer my favorite thing about summer is yes the fact that I'm off but one of the good things about being off is I get to stay up as late as I want watch Netflix watch YouTube do whatever I want and I get to wake up late so i just like well temporarily i like being able to just wake up whenever time i want um but after a while yes that does get depressing because you want to contribute to society but um yeah it, it, i just i just like the fact that i can go to bed anytime i want i don't have to wake up for anything the next day and i also like the fact that days are longer so it could be eight o'clock at night and there's still daylight so i can leave the house late i can leave the house at three o'clock and I still have some daylight, you know what I mean? As opposed to like it gets dark at five and like in the winter time and then you just, it's just depressing, you know what I mean? Like being out in the dark when it's really not even late. So I like that, being able to wake up when I want and the days are just longer. Question number two, how do you typically spend your summer days? Honestly, I don't really do much. I lounge around the house. Um, a lot of my friends are teachers, so we'll hang out, we'll go for dinner or lunch or ice cream or just hang out. And yeah, I just, I don't really, there's nothing I can say I specifically do during the summer. Like I just, I just hang out at home. I like being home. I do like going out too, but I just, I hang out at home um, a lot. Question number three, um, what are your go-to summer activities and or places to visit? Every summer I go to a place called the Canadian National Exhibition, the CNE. And that just marks off the end of summer. So it opens up, I think, the last week of August and it's back to school in the next couple of days. So yeah, it just really is like a tradition in Toronto and that just marks the end of the summer and school starting. But I love it. They have rides, they have games. It's like a little fair, I guess, or an amusement park. They have like shops and they have like weird foods and they always like to attract people every year with the weird foods like they've had deep fried mars bars they've had uh donut hamburgers where it's just like two donuts and a hamburger patty in the middle i tried it it, it, it ain't all that it ain't all that but they have that um once they had peanut butter and jelly pork sandwiches and um like ice cream bars dipped in 24 karat gold sheets or something yeah so they have the, the little fun unique foods when you go there um but it's a lot of fun and yeah and that's one of those things that people go to multiple times in that week like you might go on a monday then you'll go again on the wednesday then you'll go with your and you go with different sets of people like i'll go with like my you know husband and my kids and then another time i'll go with my mom and my sisters and my brother and then another time i'll go with my friends like you go multiple times within that week or i think it's just a week it's open for like a week anyway i i enjoyed this cme question number four beach or swimming pool definitely the beach it's been a minute since i've been on the beach but i love the beach question number five what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Woo! Okay, so I've been hitting up Baskin Robbins lately and you walk in the store and the smell is just like, oh, it just smells like heaven. And that's how I imagine heaven would smell like. It smells so good. And I know this sounds gross, but like I want to lick the walls because I feel like the taste of the walls is like the smell of the store. Like it's so yummy. And I always get, I, I don't like to branch out and try different things because I know what I like. I like the Rocky Road ice cream. So it's chocolate mixed with the nuts and marshmallows. And it is so good. Another ice cream that I really like is a marble slab creamery. 
if you don't know marble slab so you you go there and you get your ice cream and they have these like plates which are like they're like i don't know stoves they're warm and they put your ice cream on it and they kind of warm it up so it gets nice and soft and then you can add any kind of toppings you want and like any topping you could think of they have they have score bits they have oreos sprinkles marshmallows all these toppings so my go-to is french vanilla ice cream they warm it up for me and then they add some gummy bears some sprinkles and some oreo bits and if i'm feeling kind of you know adventurous i'll add some peanuts in the mix and it's so good but it's one of those it's, it's expensive ice cream it's like eight dollars so if I'm bringing the family, it's gonna be like 50 bucks on ice cream. So really, I just go by myself, or I can go with a friend, or my husband, or whatever. It's not, it's not a family treat, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive, but it's so good. Oh god. Okay. And I don't really have a sweet tooth. Like I know it sounds like I do, because I'm going on about the ice cream, but I'm more of a, I'm more of a savory person. I do like my chips. I do like my, you know, carbs and salt. But yeah, I, I do. I do like Marble Slab and, and Baskin Robbins. Okay, what is your summertime song? I don't have a summertime song. Honestly, I play Christmas music any time of the year. <laughs> I jam to Pentatonix Christmas album any time of the year. Uh, yeah, I can't say I have a summer song. I do, oh, this is like a great memory of mine. When I went to Hawaii a couple years ago, um, one of the girls I was with, um, she rented a car and she rented a convertible car. And I remember listening to the radio and jamming to 90s R&B. Like it was just like an old school station. And that was a good time. So yeah, I guess I, I like anything really, but I don't, I wouldn't say I have a song. Summertime movie? I don't have a summertime movie. I have winter movies, movies that I watch every winter, Sound of Music, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph Rennell's Reindeer. Uh, what do you call that one? Oh, what's that one with Ralph? And you're gonna shoot your eye out. A Christmas Story. Uh, yeah, those I watch every year, but I don't have summer movies. I don't. Um, what are your Netflix summertime viewing plans? Which shows or movies do you plan to watch? Oh my goodness. What is that movie? The movie about those boys that, oh my goodness, hold on. I really want to see that docu-series, When They See Us. I really want to watch it. I haven't had time to watch it, but that is definitely something on my list of shows to watch. I was into Suits, but you know, I, I really liked Suits. And then you know how they, you've watched all the episodes and they haven't uploaded the full season. And so for months, for months, for months, I haven't watched it. And then they brought it back, but then I don't remember what happened. And I'm just not as invested in the show. Like when you take such a long break, you don't, you're just not as connected. You don't remember what happened. So I, I hope that I can get connected back to that show because I really liked it. And Jane the Virgin, again, same kind of deal. I'm just not as invested in the show. I forced myself to watch, but those are shows I really, really liked. So hopefully I can get back on track with those and find some new favorites. But definitely When They See Us is on my list of movies to watch. Nine, what books are on your summertime reading list? I really want to read Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. Everyone and their mama has read that book, including my mama. So she has a copy, but she's kind of particular about her books. Like she just likes to keep her stuff. So I may just get a copy at the bookstore. And yeah, I, I do want to see that one. I do want to read that book. So that's on my list of books to read this summer. What are your must have um, essential items for the summer? I must have air conditioning. I hate being hot. And in Toronto, summer, actually we haven't really had a hot summer so far. It's summer hasn't officially started, but usually it would be really hot right now and it hasn't been that hot. But I, I hate, I hate being hot. I hate sweating. I hate the humidity. So I need air conditioning in my life. And I also need hydrocortisone cream for my rashes that I develop in the summertime. Those heat rashes, I get them here, I get them on my neck, get them behind my knees. So I do, I know they're bad for you. The, the what do you call it? The steroids in it are really bad and you shouldn't use too much of it. So I try not to use too much, but I do have to keep it under control. 
So yeah, those are my best tabs. <laughs> AC and some hydrocortisone cream. Mm. Any teaching goals or projects you hope to accomplish over the summer? I really want to focus on my YouTube channel. Um, just brainstorming ideas. And because I have the time, right? Like, and I have time to kind of push out videos every other day, or because I'm I'm not really doing anything else. So I do want to focus on my channel, and I want to focus on developing a my science program because I feel like I can do better with my science. I feel like I can do a bit more hands-on activities. And we have these kits that the board has where you can order kits and they have different equipment and things. I, I, I want to look into that. Really, really, really make it a bit more enriching and and yeah, I, 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 I can do better. I can do better with my science program. So those, those are my focuses for the summer as far as um, my teaching goals and my projects. Um, any professional development plans? Again, the science, focusing on that. And I work, I went on a, oh my goodness, my legs are asleep. Ooh. <laughs> I went on a workshop recently on the five pillars of literacy and I'm actually supposed to go back and uh, you know share with my colleagues on what we learned but it's June and people are pretty much done so definitely in September me and my colleagues are gonna the, the others I went with we're gonna do little workshops on those but I want to dive deeper in that I mean, there was other I'm one of those people that like, if I don't study something, it doesn't really stick. Because there was more to that workshop besides the five pillars of literacy. And if, if you were to ask me what else did they talk about, like I'm just like, I don't remember. But I did take notes and I will review that and I'll share with you because there was some really valuable information in there. Um, 13, um, when do you start preparing to go back to school? When is your first day back? First day back is after Labor Day. So let me look into this. September. September 3rd is the first day back at school. And I usually go back into my classroom a week, a week before school starts. So that last week of August is when I go back and I set up my room. And describe your perfect summer day. Perfect summer day. <sighs> it definitely involves food. Um, involves good company. And we can be doing anything, it could be outdoors, but it has to be on a nice day where there's a bit of a breeze going. Maybe sitting on a patio. Um, ooh, maybe like, ooh, I like a uh, Cheesecake Factory. So yeah, it involves Cheesecake Factory, maybe a patio at Cheesecake Factory, and friends, family. Yeah, I would say that. Very simple. Yeah, I know I didn't describe my perfect summer day, but Usually being around people that I love and I enjoy their company and just eating. I like to eat. And, okay. <laughs> Question number 15, three words to describe summer. Relaxing, fun, and hot. Hot, yeah. And that is it. So thanks again to Mary Lee for, I really hope I'm saying your name right. Like. I was like, I, I watched a few of your videos and I'm watching the beginning and rewinding and but you see your name so fast. I'm like, I hope I'm saying it right. Cause yeah, that's my pet peeve. I do not like butchering people's names. But anyway, thank you so much for organizing this uh, tag video. And I'll link everyone who has participated. And if you would like to join in this tag video, go ahead, I tag you and let me know in the comments and I will add you to my description box. And that is all for today's video. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.